I praise and thank God for this beautiful opportunity that God has given us to come in his presence this morning. For our meditation today let's turn to Proverbs chapter 19 verse 24 and 25. A slothful man hideth his hand in his bosom and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. Smite his corner and the simple will beware and reprove one that hath understanding and he will understand knowledge. We have meditated on many verses that warns us concerning an idle person to be active in their life. But here again, the Spirit of the Lord describes the nature of a slothful man. He is so lazy that he is not even bothered to feed himself with the food that has been set before him. He is so comfortable to sit idle by hiding his hand in his bosom. And that nature is the cause of his destruction. We may claim that we are not this lazy in our life, but as a child of God, let us look into our own life. Are we really concerned about feeding ourselves so that our inner man is strong in the Lord? Or do we fit in the list of lazy ones who are just worried about the comfort that the new life offers to us? Even in this worldly life, a person gains success in his life through hard work and labor. The one who puts his whole effort with a goal before him attains success in his life. And that is the same with our spiritual life. We have received the privilege to be the sons of God. And in this new life, we have been blessed with many provisions of God. And along with that, God has given us abundant, unsearchable riches of Christ. But God will never give or entrust those riches to a person who is not at all worried about his spiritual life. God watches over our life, discerns even our thoughts, whether or not. We are really serious about the new life that God has given us. This new life which we have received in Christ as a gift is the most important one in our life. Let us not be just concerned about our material needs. Instead, let us be concerned more about our growth in our spiritual life. And for our spiritual growth, just praying is not enough. but we need to feed ourselves with the pure and true word of god and when we are strong and mature in our spiritual life god will entrust the unsearchable riches of christ but the reality is when we look at the labor we do for our spiritual nourishment many a times we lack that zeal which we are supposed to have as a child of god it is because we do not have the love for holiness and truth in which our new life is based on We know even in a normal family love is the main thing that binds the family together as a unit and helps them to move on facing all the challenges of life and in our spiritual life as we lack that love towards our lord so we have many excuses to support the laziness in our life we claim ourselves as we are less educated or we are new in faith as we are not interested to meditate upon the word of god which god has given us in abundance we are just concerned about a good life that is free from all problems and sufferings and we think we can attain it through prayer but we labor less to gather the riches that are hidden in the word of god the more we labor with a sincere heart the more the spirit of god will help us to grow to maturity and then god is also pleased to reprove us so that we may understand our mistakes and grow to perfection but if we are lazy then god will just leave us to our desires look at the zeal and love of the first century saints they did not have the word of god like us in the written form in such a arranged manner but they learned the word of god and were wise enough to discern the false prophets and apostles they loved the lord and had the zeal for the truth that heaven chose them to be its witness to be martyrs for the truth 
we know that god is proud to be called their god and when we look at ourselves are we laboring hard in our spiritual life do we have that strength in our life which we gain through the word of god are we mature enough to be with the lord in eternity if not it is high time for us to be serious about our spiritual life let us labor hard in this time the most precious time that god has left in our lives may the lord help us for that let us pray father we praise you and thank you for this beautiful time that you have given us and thank you for your precious word father help us in these days to throw away all our laziness and to work hard in regard to our spiritual life to feed ourselves with your precious word that we have in our language Lord, when the world labors hard for material things, thank you for opening our eyes and help us in these days, these precious days, to feed on your word and be strong so that we can face all the challenges of our life and reach the goal that you have set for us. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.